Hey guys, good morning. Dave, Hathaway Property Management. I want to give you an update for 1224 East Eager on the, ooh, on the renovation. We do have heat in here now. So that's a good thing. I thought I was going to be able to show you guys the window installers today and chat a little bit about them, but they called in sick. And so that means we won't get to see the window installers today. So they've done framing in the kitchen. Everything's finished. It's ready for decking. They're going to do the decking today. Um, basically the big sheets of plywood, which are right there. Also known as subfloor. That flooring goes on top. One thing you do want to notice in properties, especially in Baltimore, but anywhere, is right here. See this daylight? Um, we have it in the back door and the front door, and that is an amazing place for our good friends, rats and mice, to come in. So you either need to redo the threshold, you need to put uh, door door sweeps. I'll show you what what I got. Well, you can see it right there, just a little bit of daylight, but rats, roaches, and cold air come right in. You can get this stuff, Home Depot. The door sweep really screws on the bottom and then if you see it from this side that is what covers up the excess areas um, and it's like a rubber let me see if i can get it it's a rubber like if you can see my hands pulling it so it just con contours to the floor so be wary for that sub floors going in today I guess I'll just come back and show you what the windows look like. Make a few changes, and I did want to talk about this, the LVP. Doing LVP all the way across this floor because it actually doesn't feel that bad on top of, even though the little imperfections here. We'll have the guys remove this Lawan, which is, it's a little bit bouncy and put a nice piece of subfloor there. But <clears throat> wanted to show you what LVP is, which is, let me see if I can put it down like this. So that's what it looks like. It's got, and we use, I mean, they sell one at Home Depot. It's, the brand is Life Proof. This one has just a little bit of padding on the back. We do not, we use a local flooring company. So we do not use Home Depot's brands because they're a little bit more expensive. But <clears throat> we use it because it's vinyl, which means, if I, it's vinyl, which means if you spill water on it, not a big deal. It's not going to buckle up like this in the middle, like laminate does. Uh, the other product that you'll see that kind of looks like this is laminate. Uh, also LVP stands for luxury, luxury vinyl plank. Great to use in bathrooms, kitchens, or around the house. We, it also just takes a good beating from tenants. So you don't have to worry too much about replacing dirty carpets. And yeah, you can just clean up and have a quicker turnaround. So it's gonna, it ends up, even though it costs more than carpet in, in the short term, it costs less than carpet in the long term. That's why we use LVP in our rentals. And the only time that I use carpet is on tricky stuff like steps. Even sometimes we do LVP on steps, but if you do that, you have to do a bull nose here and sometimes it looks silly and you got to work around it just just a harder and it's a longer install you can see how what it looks like for this project i did and i mean if you don't if you're not around projects all the time you don't necessarily know what to ask for but i did ask my contractor because it was a new electrician that we were using and i did say hey i mean did he put Junk set boxes, what do you do with the electrical when you moved it from the floor to the to the ceiling? And we had to go back there and have the electrician come back out because he didn't do it necessarily to code. So we had him come back out and make it a little bit more safe than what he did, which was just tie wires together and extend the junction box. But next time I come back to you, we will have the flooring in upstairs, the flooring in and both the bedrooms and the window should be in. Hopefully the window inst window installer cancel. You said main installer is, is feeling better tomorrow. Then he will shoot for an install tomorrow. 
One other thing is at the doorways, there's a little bit of slope this way and a little bit of slope that way. So sometimes there's slight slopes. And when there is that, whether it's from just a joist that's right here that's popping the floor up and it's near a doorway, I just, have, I just stop the floors here. I put a threshold in so these floors themselves won't pop up or cantilever. Uh, where they, they come together and then if there's a bow in the floor, sometimes they can pop up like that, like a bridge and create a big gap. And that's what we do not want. But to, if you have something like this, where it's just slightly, it would, the, <clears throat> the flooring would go over that edge and it would cause a little bit of a pain point in the boards. You can just cut it, do a threshold down the middle and then lay LVP on the other side. Still you know, it's just a, a difference in, in look. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of information of why we use luxury vinyl plank and uh, why we use carpet in certain areas and a little bit of decking and I'll see you on another video.